Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So the question is, should you change jobs often? Should you switch jobs often? The answer is yes, you should. I actually just read an article about this not too long ago and it touched on some of the same benefits. Like for example, the benefits of switching jobs often include, um, which this article talked about, was talking about salary a lot. In my opinion here are the three things um, why I say you should switch jobs often. One, salary. You can boost your salary quicker. Um, two, it allows you to network with more people. And three, it opens doors to many different opportunities. Let me explain. So the first one is yes. In my career, my 20 years of working here and there, I've switched jobs at, at a point in my career indirectly. I didn't do it um, purpose, purposely, but when I look back, it really allowed me to boost my salary quicker than if I would have stayed at a company. I made a couple of mistakes by staying at a couple of companies a little bit too long. And um, if there's one thing that I would take back, I would actually look, you know, after after a certain point, it's time to move on. now. The question is, if you are disagreeing with what I'm saying and you actually like the company you work for, that's actually a good thing, all right? So the, the, the answer is stay with that company. But if you're someone like myself, you're someone that, um, you know, really want to benefit from, you know, maybe an increase in salary, meet, uh, network with new people and have many new opportunities open for you, it's beneficial for you to switch jobs um, often. Now, the question is, how often i think six months is probably a little bit too too quick i think after a year you should start looking year and a half two years now you really should be looking if you're there for two years um they say the average is a like person like tech person say that it stays at a job like maybe um like stays at google like three years three and a half years i think that's you know a little too long two years is definitely good um year and a half is good what's going to happen is you're going to it will allow you to boost your earning potential quicker um, raise your salary a lot sooner um, and it'll keep you sharper in the market to be honest with you by having to interview and stay you know stay up to date with different projects there's so many different benefits you know like you go to a new company you work on new projects you get energetic you work on new tools you might be working with a new code base a new system and things like that um, boost your salary <clears throat> the number two is improving your network capabilities when you go from job to job you'll meet new people which also uh, increases your potential to land new jobs as many different people disperse to new companies it builds your network now you have people working at Netflix now you have people working at Google now you have people working at Amazon now you have people working here and you can network with those people if those opportunities come about. Um, thirdly, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just fighting a, fighting a chest cold or something like that. But thirdly, I think it opens new doors because when you switch jobs often, it keeps you fresh in the market. It keeps you open to new ideas. It keeps you moving and interacting. And I think that's far more, far more beneficial than just staying stagnant and kind of like getting stale within the marketplace, right? It keeps you sharp. It keeps you learning new things and what's going on with different companies, right? Versus staying at a company 10 plus years and you're kind of stuck to one particular system and now you've kind of like outdated yourself, um, so to speak, right? So it opens new doors also because as you move and move and move, it keeps your mind fresh. It keeps you thinking like, what else is there? Where do I go next? What should I be doing now? Are there new opportunities? And think about it. If, you know, if the issue is now you're switching jobs often and I'm a boss and I see you and you're valuable to a company, you're valuable to my company. If I see that you're moving company to company and you want to leave my company, I'm going to sit down and ask you, hey, what's going on? What is it? I see that, you know, you, you go from company to company. You're obviously looking for something that we, you know, we, we may not have. Like, what is it? Is it more pay? Is it a company car? Is it a better work-life balance? You want to work from home? You know, what 
I want to get into your, you know, is it more creative control, newer projects and things like that? If someone, if, if, if you came across that, I mean, how cool would that be if, a, if a, a leader actually asked you that and allowed you to express that to them and give them an opportunity to maybe, you know, change those things and, and give those things to you, right? That would be a benefit to you and obviously that would be worth staying but if you don't receive that type of uh, feedback as you go from company to company guess what then you're obviously not as valued at that company as you should be right so keep striving keep looking for um, companies where you're getting that value you're getting that self that you know that self, you know, it's something that, that gives you something that self sense of self worth, in my opinion, and you're in that right position because don't just leave because hey, the grass is greener on the other side. Leave for new ideas. Leave leave for new opportunities. Leave to learn new things, you know. And as you grow, sometimes projects get stale after a year, a year, and so it's time to move on. There's many different reasons why it's time to move on. To be honest with you, just don't make it money because uh, if it's money. Um, I don't, you, you can get that at one particular company, um, but I think it just, I think use it for all the other, money is one of the reasons, but to be honest with you, I never left for money uh, reasons. Uh, it just happened that way, but I always leave for working on the right projects and being in the right situation. I think when you're in the right situation, you're working on the right projects, you're energetic about those things. I think good things come about. Um, it keeps your mind sharp, keeps your brain focused, and you really learn a lot, and you um, get further a lot in, in your career, in my opinion. It's not just about the money, it's really about stimulating your mind, learning new things, being creative. If you're dull, you're at a place where, hey, you're not learning anything, you're not being pushed, it's time to move on. Anyway, so whether you should leave or not, leave often, I say leave often. It will far, there's far more benefits to you to leave a company and be on the cutting edge of things and be energetic and be open to new opportunities than sticking around, getting stale and, and getting rusty. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Hit me in the comments below. Let me know if you agree or disagree or what's your thoughts on this particular subject. Anyway, we'll talk soon. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.